Ezekiel chapter 5 Now, son of man, take a sharp sword and use it as a barber's razor to shave your head and your beard. Then take a set of scales and divide up the hair. When the days of your siege come to an end, burn a third of the hair inside the city. Take a third and strike it with the sword all around the city, and scatter a third to the wind, for I will pursue them with drawn sword. But take a few hairs and tuck them away in the folds of your garment. Again, take a few of these and throw them into the fire and burn them up. A fire will spread from there to all Israel. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. This is Jerusalem, which I have set in the center of the nations, with countries all around her. Yet, in her wickedness, she has rebelled against my laws and decrees more than the nations and countries around her. She has rejected my laws and has not followed my decrees. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. You have been more unruly than the nations around you and have not followed my decrees or kept my laws. You have not even conformed to the standards of the nations around you. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I myself am against you, Jerusalem, and I will inflict punishment on you in the sight of the nations. Because of all your detestable idols, I will do to you what I have never done before and will never do again. Therefore, in your midst, parents will eat their children and children will eat their parents. I will inflict punishment on you and will scatter all your survivors to the winds. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, because you have defiled my sanctuary with all your vile images and detestable practices, I myself will shave you. I will not look on you with pity or spare you. A third of your people will die of the plague or perish by famine inside you. A third will fall by the sword outside your walls. And a third I will scatter to the winds and pursue with drawn sword. Then my anger will cease, and my wrath against them will subside, and I will be avenged. And when I have spent my wrath on them, they will know that I, the Lord, have spoken in my zeal. I will make you a ruin and a reproach among the nations around you in the sight of all who pass by. You will be a reproach and a taunt, a warning and an object of horror to the nations around you when I inflict punishment on you in anger and in wrath and with stinging rebuke. I, the Lord, have spoken. When I shoot at you with my deadly and destructive arrows of famine, I will shoot to destroy you. I will bring more and more famine upon you and cut off your supply of food. I will send famine and wild beasts against you, and they will leave you childless. Plague and bloodshed will sweep through you, and I will bring the sword against you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Ezekiel chapter 6 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face against the mountains of Israel, prophesy against them and say, You mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to the mountains and hills, to the ravines and valleys. I am about to bring a sword against you, and I will destroy your high places. Your altars will be demolished, and your incense altars will be smashed. And I will slay your people in front of your idols. I will lay the dead bodies of the Israelites in front of their idols, and I will scatter your bones around your altars. Wherever you live, the towns will be laid waste and the high places demolished, so that your altars will be laid waste and devastated, your idols smashed and ruined. 
your incense altars broken down, and what you have made wiped out. Your people will fall slain among you, and you will know that I am the Lord. But I will spare some, for some of you will escape the sword when you are scattered among the lands and nations. Then, in the nations where they have been carried captive, those who escape will remember me. How I have been grieved by their adulterous hearts, which have turned away from me, and by their eyes which have lusted after their idols. They will loathe themselves for the evil they have done, and for all their detestable practices. And they will know that I am the Lord. I did not threaten in vain to bring this calamity on them. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Strike your hands together and stamp your feet and cry out, Alas! Because of all the wicked and detestable practices of the people of Israel, for they will fall by the sword, famine, and plague. One who is far away will die of the plague, and one who is near will fall by the sword, and anyone who survives and is spared will die of famine. So will I pour out my wrath on them, and they will know that I am the Lord when their people lie slain among their idols, around their altars, on every high hill and on all the mountain tops, under every spreading tree and every leafy oak, places where they offered fragrant incense to all their idols. And I will stretch out my hand against them and make the land a desolate waste, from the desert to Dibla, wherever they live. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 7 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, this is what the Sovereign Lord says to the land of Israel. The end, the end has come upon the four corners of the land. The end is now upon you, and I will unleash my anger against you. I will judge you according to your conduct and repay you for all your detestable practices. I will not look on you with pity. I will not spare you. I will surely repay you for your conduct and for the detestable practices among you. Then you will know that I am the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Disaster. Unheard of disaster. See, it comes. The end has come. The end has come. It has roused itself against you. See, it comes. Doom has come upon you, upon you who dwell in the land. The time has come. The day is near. There is panic, not joy, on the mountains. I am about to pour out my wrath on you and spend my anger against you. I will judge you according to your conduct and repay you for all your detestable practices. I will not look on you with pity. I will not spare you. I will repay you for your conduct and for the detestable practices among you. Then you will know that it is I, the Lord, who strikes you. See the day. See it comes. Doom has burst forth, the rod has budded, arrogance has blossomed. Violence has arisen, a rod to punish the wicked. None of the people will be left, none of that crowd, none of their wealth, nothing of value. The time has come, the day has arrived. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller grieve, for my wrath is on the whole crowd. The seller will not recover the property that was sold, as long as both buyer and seller live. For the vision concerning the whole crowd will not be reversed. Because of their sins, not one of them will preserve their life. They have blown the trumpet, they have made all things ready, 
but no one will go into battle, for my wrath is on the whole crowd. Outside is the sword, inside a plague and famine. Those in the country will die by the sword, those in the city will be devoured by famine and plague. The fugitives who escape will flee to the mountains. Like doves of the valleys they will all moan, each for their own sins. Every hand will go limp, every leg will be wet with urine. They will put on sackcloth and be clothed with terror. Every face will be covered with shame and every head will be shaved. They will throw their silver into the streets, and their gold will be treated as a thing unclean. Their silver and gold will not be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. It will not satisfy their hunger or fill their stomachs, for it has caused them to stumble into sin. They took pride in their beautiful jewelry and used it to make their detestable idols. They made it into vile images. Therefore I will make it a thing unclean for them. I will give their wealth as plunder to foreigners and as loot to the wicked of the earth who will defile it. I will turn my face away from the people and robbers will desecrate the place I treasure. They will enter it and will defile it. Prepare chains, for the land is full of bloodshed and the city is full of violence. I will bring the most wicked of nations to take possession of their houses. I will put an end to the pride of the mighty, and their sanctuaries will be desecrated. When terror comes, they will seek peace in vain. Calamity upon calamity will come, and rumor upon rumor. They will go searching for a vision from the prophet. Priestly instruction in the law will cease. The counsel of the elders will come to an end. The king will mourn, the prince will be clothed with despair, and the hands of the people of the land will tremble. I will deal with them according to their conduct, and by their own standards I will judge them. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Psalm 109 my God, whom I praise, do not remain silent, for people who are wicked and deceitful have opened their mouths against me. They have spoken against me with lying tongues. With words of hatred they surround me, they attack me without cause. In return for my friendship they accuse me, but I am a man of prayer. They repay me evil for good and hatred for my friendship. Appoint someone evil to oppose my enemy. Let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is tried, let him be found guilty, and may his prayers condemn him. May his days be few. May another take his place of leadership. May his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. May his children be wandering beggars. May they be driven from their ruined homes. May a creditor seize all he has. May strangers plunder the fruits of his labor. May no one extend kindness to him or take pity on his fatherless children. May his descendants be cut off, their names blotted out from the next generation. May the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord. May the sin of his mother never be blotted out. May their sins always remain before the Lord, that he may blot out their name from the earth. For he never thought of doing a kindness, but hounded to death the poor and the needy and the broken-hearted. He loved to pronounce a curse. May it come back on him. He found no pleasure in blessing. May it be far from him. He wore cursing as his garment. It entered into his body like water, into his bones like oil. May it be like a cloak wrapped about him, like a belt tied forever around him. May this be the Lord's payment to my accusers, to those who speak evil of me. But you, Sovereign Lord, help me for your name's sake. 
out of the goodness of your love deliver me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I fade away like an evening shadow, I am shaken off like a locust, my knees give way from fasting, my body is thin and gaunt. I am an object of scorn to my accusers, when they see me, they shake their heads. Help me, Lord my God. Save me according to your unfailing love. Let them know that it is your hand, that you, Lord, have done it. While they curse, may you bless. May those who attack me be put to shame, but may your servant rejoice. May my accusers be clothed with disgrace and wrapped in shame as in a cloak. With my mouth I will greatly extol the Lord. In the great throng of worshippers I will praise him. For he stands at the right hand of the needy to save their lives from those who would condemn them. Proverbs chapter 27 Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Let someone else praise you, and not your own mouth, an outsider, and not your own lips. Stone is heavy and sand a burden, but a fool's provocation is heavier than both. Anger is cruel and fury overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. One who is full loathes honey from the comb, but to the hungry even what is bitter tastes sweet. Like a bird that flees its nest is anyone who flees from home. Perfume and incense bring joy to the heart, and the pleasantness of a friend springs from their heartfelt advice. Do not forsake your friend, or a friend of your family. And do not go to your relative's house when disaster strikes you. Better a neighbor nearby than a relative far away. Be wise, my son, and bring joy to my heart. Then I can answer anyone who treats me with contempt. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger. Hold it in pledge if it is done for an outsider. If anyone loudly blesses their neighbor early in the morning, it will be taken as a curse. A quarrelsome wife is like the dripping of a leaky roof in a rainstorm. Restraining her is like restraining the wind or grasping oil with the hand. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. The one who guards a fig tree will eat its fruit, and whoever protects their master will be honored. As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. Death and destruction are never satisfied, and neither are human eyes. The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold but people are tested by their praise. Though you grind a fool in a mortar, grinding them like grain with a pestle, you will not remove their folly from them. Be sure you know the condition of your flocks. Give careful attention to your herds, for riches do not endure forever, and a crown is not secure for all generations. When the hay is removed and new growth appears, and the grass from the hills is gathered in, the lambs will provide you with clothing, and the goats with the price of a field. You will have plenty of goat's milk to feed your family, and to nourish your female servants. <laughs>